What we're testing is to make sure that the Pamir gas pipeline can be converted in a safe and efficient way from natural gas to hydrogen. At the very start of the project, we work with APA to get the samples from the field into the lab. So they've been dug up from the field on Western Australia and they've been transported to Wollongong. We use our state-of-the-art water jet cutter to cut up the samples. We've got a number of CNC machines and other type of equipment that we use to get the right specimens ready to be tested in our labs. We're developing the design standards for hydrogen pipelines alongside this research project and development project. For Australia, it will be the first pipeline of this kind to be converted to hydrogen from a natural gas operated pipeline. So the result from phase one of the Parmelia pipeline showed us that the pipeline potentially would be able to operate in good operating conditions with hydrogen. So phase two builds on the promising results of phase one. So we take replicates of all the tests that were conducted in air and test them in a hydrogen environment. So we had uh, an international panel that reviewed the process of the experiments and uh, its outcome as well as uh, the engineering calculations. And we also had a uh, collaboration with uh, an international laboratory to test some uh, of the sample in hydrogen to confirm that our estimation of the performance in hydrogen would apply. The international significance of this project is that it will join only a few other hydrogen projects in the world that have successfully converted a natural gas pipeline to a hydrogen pipeline.